So check it out, we have rose hips here. And I'm pretty sure these are invasive here in New Zealand. So what you want to look for with these, is you kind of want to look for the ones that are like, they kind of look like sun-dried tomatoes, they're dried out. The, the real fresh, fresh ones are not completely ripe when they're like super kind of dried out, like a sun-dried tomato. They actually kind of, the taste reminds me a little bit of a sun-dried tomato as well. I just want to eat that outer fleshy part. Pretty good. Like I said, they're invasive, so there's plenty rose hips around. And I think you can eat them when they're not ripe, but they just taste much better when they're soft and they look dried out like a sun-dried tomato. I'm not sure if the seeds are edible. I'm pretty sure they're not. So there's not a lot of If you're just eating the outer flesh, there's not a lot of meat, but uh, pretty good. Not too bad. A little sweeter than a sudden dried tomato. So this is an interesting plant. I can't remember the name of it, but I remember what it looks like. And um, a good way to play a practical joke on someone is tell them that this is the chewing gum plant. It tastes just like chewing gum. The reality is, it's like a New Zealand pepper plant, pepper leaf or something. And it's edible, but it has a real peppery taste. Almost like, reminds me of green peppercorn. If you've ever had like Sichuan Chinese food. And it's a slow burn, but it's a real tingly, peppery taste. So. Although I wouldn't want to survive on that as my sole food source, you could, but definitely to season some bush snacks or a meal out in the bush, whatever this is called, New Zealand pepper plant, or, or some people are cruel and tell people it's a chewing gum plant and that it tastes like chewing gum, and then they get a little peppery, tingly surprise on their tongue. Cool thing about Nacao palms I just learned is the green berries, before they ripen and turn red, the green berries are edible and also the flowers of the Nacao palm before they open up and, and bud, like the little buds before they flower, are also edible for humans. So these berries, Nacao palm, the most southerly occurring palm tree, by the way. So look at these, we'd seen, Sam found these fruits had fallen from a tree and somebody has been eating them. So you can see the exposed seed here and they have this really sweet smell, almost like mango. And this big seed reminds me of a mango too. But I think, we're not positive, but we think they come from the Karaka tree. The fruit is edible. It's, it's the seed that is poisonous that the Maori used to have to soak to get rid of the, the toxic alkaloids. So, looks like I'm gonna try this fruit that we're pretty sure is edible. Let's, let's give it a go. Let's see if it tastes like mango. So, Karaka fruit, it smells delicious. It smells absolutely wonderful. I don't know if this one's ripe yet. It's not that soft, but it, it does actually taste pretty good. Some of the other ones were more ripe, so maybe on the way back down, I'll try to get a softer one, but maybe whatever animal was eating these already ate all the ripe ones. Sea lettuce, definitely edible. And we saw some earlier, some Neptune's necklace. That's edible. Not too bad, actually. Chilling in my mermaid pool. Eat my sea lettuce. Spoiling away with the other crabs in here. I'm showing solidarity with my fellow crabs. Infamous.